Hi guys, we've got an applications of differentiation question here. The question says that we've got a rectangular plot of farmland will be bounded on one side by a river and on the other three sides by a single strand electric fence. With 800 metres of wire at the farmer's disposal, what is the largest area that he can, can enclose and what are the dimensions of the plot? So, I've drawn a very basic sort of picture here so we can all get the gist. So what we're looking for is we're looking to maximize the area within this plot. So the way that we're going to work out area is we're going to times the length by the width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the width x and I'm going to call the length y. So this side here will also be x. Cool. So the function that we're going to be trying to maximize, or our objective function, we're going to have area is equal to x, y. So what we also have is our sort of limit on how much area we can have is the amount of fence that we have. So what we have to do is we have to create another function where we've got the perimeter of the uh, enclosure, which is enclosed by the fence, is got to be equal to 800 at maximum. So we're going to have 2x plus y has to be equal to 800. Now it could be 2x plus y could be less than 800. He could have fence left over uh, after he's built this enclosure. However, if he has fence left over, he's not going to be able to make the maximum area. The maximum area is only going to be able to be achieved if he uses up all of the fence. So what we do from here is now we have two equations. We're going to rearrange the second equation so we can um, create an equation that presents area in terms of one variable. So what we do is we rearrange this second one to be y in terms of x. And then what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this in for y here. So what we're going to get is we're going to have the area in terms of x to be equal to x times 800 minus 2x. So we're going to solve this dif using differentiation. We could also solve this using like a graphical approach where we actually graph this quadratic equation and find where the uh, turning point is, but um, it's a lot less laborious using differentiation. So what we're going to do next is we're going to multiply out that bracket to make the differential process easier. So we have area in terms of x is equal to 800x minus 2x squared. So what we then have to do is we have to calculate the derivative. So we're going to find dA dx, and this is going to be equal to 800 minus 4x. Now I'm assuming that you know the process by which you get the derivative from a function, the stock standard d derivative toolbox. So what we also need to know is we need to know, um, to figure out what the maximum is, we need to know when the derivative is equal to zero. Now the reason for this is because if we were to say quickly draw a um, crude picture of this quadratic function, if we have our y and our x axes, the graph would look something like that with this being x, and this being area. So we have to, we're looking for when area is maximized, and at that point, the gradient is zero. So this derivative function has to equal zero. So what we do from here is we just solve for x. So we're going to have 
x is equal to 800 divided by 4, which is equal to 200. So what we can also do is we can calculate what y is, because we know that y is equal to using this function here, 800 minus 2x, which is going to be equal to 400. So we know that x is equal to 200 meters, so the width is going to be 200 meters, the length is going to be 400 meters, and then we can finally write, hence the area at the maximum is going to be equal to 200 times 400, which is an 8 t 000 meters squared, or 8 hectares. So, basically what we've had to do here, after we've drawn the picture, and I think for questions, uh, applications of differentiation questions, when you're given a situation, if it's possible to draw it, I think your best idea is to draw it out. It's a lot easier to see, or a lot easier to figure out what you're trying to do. What we then did is we figured out what function we were trying to maximize, which was this one. So that was our objective function, and then we had to have a, a limit function, a limiting function, which we calculated to be the perimeter of the rectangular enclosure. We then made the um, limiting function in terms of one of the variables, and then we substituted that into our function or our objective function that had to be maximized. So we could have the function that had to be maximized in terms of just one variable. After we did that, it was quite a straightforward process to just differentiate this objective function, set it equal to zero, and then solve for the variable that we have. We then use that variable to calculate the other variable, and then for this one, we just multiplied them both together to find out what our maximum area was. So I hope this has helped, and um, I hope to see you back here again next time.